now here you are, you, you, you're, you're an A&R guy, and I got to ask you, you have these acts, which it's all here on Google, you could do, but you have Kiss, Rush, and Leonard Skinner, and you had those three bands, and they turned them down, your boss turned down those three bands. Today on Artist on Record, legendary producer Mr. Tom Worman, you know him from Motley Crue, Poison, Twisted Sister, Jeff Beck, Ted Nugent, Cheap Trick, and more, his new book, Turn It Up, my time making hit records in the glory days of rock music. Links are in our description. He was good. He was smart. But he didn't understand the strength of rock and roll, the potential of rock and roll, and what what young people were interested in. Um, it's just too bad. Um, he was a, he was a good guy, and I was I was too green to say you're wrong. You got to sign this band. I'm going out on a limb. They're going to be big, you know. But um, it's how I got permission, really, from his successor to sign Ted, because he said, Worman, what have you been doing here for the last five years? And and um, I said, well, you know, I signed REO, and then I brought Bing, 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 and he passed on all of them. And he said, is there anything you're interested in right now? And um, I had been presented with Ted Nugent as a solo act. I knew nothing about him, but uh, I had gone to see him, you know, and uh, I said, yeah, let's, let's sign Ted Nugent. I'd like to sign Ted Nugent. And we went out to Lansing, Michigan to see, to see him perform and uh, everything fell together very quickly. So, so without those three, you know, passes, maybe I wouldn't have been, my opinion wouldn't have been solicited. So that started it, and then and that was a big, you know, first album was was big, and then um, Jack called me about Cheap Trick. Jack Douglas went out to see them, signed them. I was remixing one of their songs in in, in a studio. Molly Hatchet came to audition, signed them, and. Off to the races, you know. Off to the races. Wow. So Jack is the one who called you about Cheap Trick, huh? Yeah. And then he produced the first album, which was uh, really, it was excellent and faithful to their live sound, um, but no single. And I, my job was to make singles, to get, you know, to, to, to get a single into rotation, which would generate big album sales. Mm -hmm. That was a record business. So that's what I had to do. A lot of bands probably resented their success, <laughs> you know, yeah. because I, I made commercial records with them, you know, mostly power ballads. And, uh, you know, get it, it on worked. the radio. It yeah. worked. Yeah. I mean, they, as I've said many times, when the album comes out and it's a big hit, they love you. You're you're beautiful, babe. You know, high fives, <laughs> back slaps, and twenty years later, you sucked. You know, <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. He and we had it sounds thin. It's like, eh. let me tell you, <laughs> there's 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 a lot of historical revision that comes out of the mouths of uh, certain bands, certain individuals. We'll be releasing more clips of my conversation with Tom Warren. In the meantime, if you want to see this episode unedited right now, join our members only club and pre-order Turn It Up. Links will be down below. Until then, who loves you, baby? We do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>